Oh God, I I didn't want to have to do this story because this story makes me cringe and it makes me cringe really, really bad. And I talk about this all the time. I have terrible, terrible secondhand cringe. I have to walk out of the room multiple times while wa watching Sasha Baron Cohen movies like Borat and Bruno and Borat too, like all of them, right? Uh, same thing with This Is America. I have to get up and walk out of the room if it's going to be particularly embarrassing or cringeworthy. And, and because of that, watching public freakouts sometimes is difficult to me. But it's the most difficult for me when it's a streamer. And the reason why is I can relate to being a streamer so much. And it's very easy for me to put myself in their shoes. And so when seeing streamers acting terribly, which, let's be honest, they often do, uh, I, I just get the worst secondhand cringe. But I've seen a lot lot of particularly bad examples of streamers acting horrendously in public and i'm not even talking about oh aiden ross he streamed porn on kick or oh this streamer did that i'm, I'm talking about just like full acting like a degenerate in public and there's two examples i wanted to show you guys and i just want to say like these are people that i feel that should solidly have the book thrown at them I don't know. I'm not no. I'm not saying like, oh, let's take years off their life, send them some, send them some in prison or something. But these are people that need social penalties for how they're behaving, and the streaming platforms on which they're hosted should take long into consideration uh, of kicking them permanently off because they. I don't think they're responsible enough to have a platform for both of these individuals. Right. So Burns the first individual, I think it's a little obvious like why. Now, I of course don't want to set the precedent of. Oh, if somebody donates uh, a sub that's like this, you should immediately ban them because sometimes, you know, people just get pranked or they don't have the preconditions set in place to stop these types of donations. But people who behave this way or seek this type of behavior out in order to farm donations, those people who just act like degenerate in public and try to bait these types of donations, I do not think they should have a platform whatsoever, man, because they just make the platform toxic and honestly, they can endanger people. Now, I know that's a lot of like prep for us to watch this clip, but once you realize what's happening in the clip, I think you guys will sympathize with why I'm saying that. A uh, Baked Drone, and thank you so much for the tier one and for being sub for 11 months in public i'm gonna be honest i might take out my headphones a few times while watching this because it is genuinely difficult for me to watch clips like this attention <laughs> is this where you're supposed to be i think so c4 has been successfully activated bomb detonation countdown successfully started we gotta go guys that jail oh shit oh it's on high like that I'm sorry, but how calm he is, he's perfectly fine with what he just did. Like, I would be scrambling like a madman to turn off my phone. I would be scrambling, like, to try to apologize. Because if a donation got through and it was an accident, after seeing how terrified those people were, they were running. They were running away. They were terrified. They were all about to die. After seeing that, I would be scrambling to be like, because I could understand if I was out in public and I was just doing like TTS out in public and something like that happened. And he was like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my God. I didn't put a, I didn't, I didn't ban some words and I got through. That'd be one thing. He showed no effort. This is somebody who either was baiting it or was completely fine with what was going on. And like, it's completely just degenerate behavior being a, a nuisance and terrifying those in your community. There's like elderly people there. There was elderly people. Do you think they understood exactly all of the, like, oh, this is just a teacher? No, they probably thought they were about to die in a modern Columbine to some degree. Or they, they, they thought that was a possibility because they, all, they, they don't understand the deep technology stuff. And a lot of the younger people, they have no clue either. My goodness, man. But let's let's keep watching. Let's see what happens to this guy. And I'm and I'm, dude, this type of stuff, this type of like degenerate, like like purple army army type activities, this should be like completely purged from all streaming platforms. I don't care which streaming platform it is, because this is just like baiting, being a nuisance in public, and associating your brand and your company with the worst type of behavior and feeding into it, incentivizing people going out and calling bomb threats, people going out and, and, and trying to like throw out racial 
racial slurs in public. It's just the absolute worst degenerate type behavior, man. Oh shit, dude, that was just thick. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh god, guys, look at that. Holy fuck. Dude, you cannot get a better reaction. Dude, it. it does not help that from this angle, he reminds me of the former president of Iran that was... I was about to say very anti-Semitic, but they've had a lot of anti-Semitic presidents. I'm going to be for real. Oh, God, what's his name? What's the one I'm thinking about? He was a really famous one. He was, like, the one that was, like, really off the rails. I mean, a lot of them are off the rails. I'm really not narrowing it down, okay? What's his name? He just got the same haircut and the same beard. Yeah, I'm a dumb. Fuck it, I can never say his name correctly. But you know exactly. Yes, yes. Yes, this guy. Yes, he kind of looks. The camera's blurry enough that I can see it. It's blur just blurry enough that I can see it. Ah, God. Just blurry enough. Yeah, holy shit. Oh, it looks like his son or maybe a cousin, baby. Hey! On the ground. Yeah, on the ground right now. Wait, what's on going the on? On the ground, don't make any sudden move. Okay, I'm recording, bro. If you're gonna shoot me, that's fine. What are you doing, bro? Put, Put the gun down. down. Put the gun down. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Record all you want to. That's totally fine. Move this way. Okay, let me check my phone. What? What did I do? On the ground. I didn't do nothing, bro. Dude, I didn't do nothing. I'm sorry. You went to a public space and had audio play off of your person saying we're about to kill all of you. Bomb is about to explode. C4 has been planted. Right? And now you're like, I didn't do anything, man. What? What's even the argument? What's going to be the argument? Like, oh, no, I didn't do anything. It was all the phone. It was all my phone. It was all my microphone. It'd be like, hey, were you the one who drew the swastika with your pen? No, it wasn't me. It was my pen. Like, nobody's going to believe you. No one's going to believe you for good reason, right? You're baiting this shit. Now, now playing stupid. Come on. No one was going to buy it. MG reference the musical. How does he think this interaction goes where the cop's like, oh, I thought you were the guy. Uh, he was a terrorist, about to place the bomb, about to blow stuff up. Never mind. You said you didn't do anything. Goodbye. Have a nice day. How does he think that's going to go? What's even the point? TTS has a donation. On the ground okay. now. All right, dude. flat on your stomach. Thank you. That's good. Put your phone down if you're concerned about it. Put your arms out to your side like an airplane. Don't move. You got me? I got you, bro. Don't touch anything. Alright, bro. Oh, 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 bro. What are you doing, bro? Hey, just listen to the officer. Put your hand behind your back, okay? I didn't do anything wrong, bro. They took. Oh, bro. Hey. Get your hand back here. Get your hand back there, sir. Come on, bro. I didn't do anything, bro. Look at the video, bro. <laughs> If they watch back the video, that is not the conclusion they're going to get. They're going to hear your phone playing audio of an explosion and trying to terrify. Come on, man. It's not even a good alibi. gonna arrest me for nothing, bro. What do you mean nothing? Oh my god, dude. Is there like a follow up in the replies about like he got arrested? Article. He calls himself Arab Andy. YouTuber live streamer arrested for college campus bomb threat prank. Arab Andy has a history of offensive streams. A YouTuber streamer that goes by Arab Andy online was arrested last night in Seattle after walking into the University of Washington classroom and playing a Texas speech bomb threat. Uh, YouTube has since taken the live stream down for violating its terms of service. Mirror uploads are still available to watch on YouTube. Arab Andy can be seen walking into a classroom and playing audio of a Texas speech donation from a viewer. Texas speech donations are popular with many stream okay yada yada yeah um uh, the university of washington police department issued a statement around 5 p.m a man walked into a classroom in sarah hall on the university of washington campus filmed with a phone in his hand the uwpd said he asked for everyone's attention and a pre-recorded message emitted from a speaker on his jacket announcing something to the effect of the c4's charge and a countdown began people ran from the room and activated the fire alarm on their way out one of the alleged people standing in the room during the bomb threat posted about the experience on reddit I was in the room when this occurred. I'm in the light blue shirt on the right side and I was 
and I was dive out when people started moving. The context here makes it look real uh, looks less real and intense than it was in person because he entered the doorway and lingered in a very nervous and creepy way. He looked very uncomfortable at first. When he, when he was asked if he was in the right place by Jerry, the faculty to the right, he said, I think so, and smiled. Then the TTS went off. Honestly, it seemed like it was probably a prank as we were running, but you don't really take chances. His demeanor made it seem more real too. I, dude, you know how wild it is? How, how much of a wild statement it is that this guy was just so naturally creepy that I usually wouldn't have believed it. But he seemed like such a freak, such a freaking person that I, I didn't want to take any chances on this guy because he just seemed too freaky. Plus, considering he had an oddly large backpack, a phone in hand, electronics on the front of his body, circular speakers for the TTS, the people who saw him directly were the ones scared shitless for the most part. The people in the back and in the kitchen were much slower to run because it sounded like a weird announcement. My goodness. This isn't the first time Arab Andy has caused a public disturbance while live streaming and using text to speech technology. Previous videos demonstrate Andy getting the verbal altercations with passengers on a bus after a text to speech donation repeated a racist expletive that's the thing man dude uh, these streamers bait this they bait it not all live streamers who do stuff in public of course not because you can tell the effort they put into making sure that their text to speech stuff isn't going to like bother everybody else isn't going to be a nuisance in public it isn't going to like say anything that's going to scare people or going to piss everybody off that makes them want to assault the streamer like you hey black black guy in the corner you're going to just have my chat spam the n-word quick just see what happens i wonder if it'll piss anybody off enough to get me stabbed today another video shows andy getting pulled over by police officers during a street festival after the department received received numerous complaints about the messages emanating from his phone okay so that's the first person I wanted to talk about the second example i wanted to talk about honestly while legally it's not as bad because nobody is getting like you know uh it, it feels like their life is in danger some of you guys might have already seen this and this is this is really really bad so i honestly might take out my headphones because i i don't even know if i want to watch this with you guys because it's that difficult for me to watch this type of stuff it really really rubs me the wrong way so this is a live streamer a foreigner in reference to japan the country he's live streaming in who gets on a train uh and then starts telling people to speak English while playing extremely loud and annoying music. And then when people are like, stop, he acts towards them in the most toxic way imaginable before or later, I think like staff of the rail station and or police officer kind of like corners him off. And it's like telling him like, stop doing this. You're being a nuisance. It is really hard to watch. And so I won't blame any of you guys. If you guys decide to like tap out and like, because I'm going to tap out a few times during this. I, it's, it's God, man, it's going to be hard to watch. Oh, oh, and for those curious on which streaming platform, this was streamed. It was streamed on kick. It was streamed on Kick, which is Trainwreck's new streaming platform, I believe. Uh, so, you know, they've got the recent Aiden Ross stream with the uh, with the uh, uh, Peeping Tom pictures. We'll just call it that for YouTube monetization purposes. Uh, we've got this guy streaming on the platform. Kick is really, you know, kicking off, to say the least. Let's watch. Kick isn't new. Isn't it? Isn't it a Trainwreck's or am I confused? Or did Trainwreck's just take over it? Kick, not kick. Yeah, kick. Like kick. It's K I C K. It's not screwing with me. Let's watch. I wish a motherfucker would right now, right? You see this shit? It's fucking what we do. Dude, he's such a nuisance. I... I sometimes get embarrassed uh, to just be from the same country or even from the same, like, semi-culture. Like, if you're from a country that has a lot of English-speaking culture, I'll even sometimes get offended. 
to see somebody that speaks the same language I, I do or is from the same country that I'm from go out into any other country and embarrass themselves. Because I really feel like they're leaving a terrible impression uh, on the country I'm from. Like they're making me look bad by just rubbing off on the same ethnicity. Just rubbing off on the same country that we're from, the same nationality. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, don't pl don't touch time. don't touch my shit. Don't touch me. Don't touch my shit. Yeah, don't okay, touch me. Fuck, fuck you, pussy. Fuck you, pussy. Fuck you. These motherfuckers oh my touching my shit. I can't get out of here. I can't go down. I just wanna go out. Who the fuck do you think you are? What? Do you want me to turn down my volume? Yeah. That's Don't all you. Speak in the train. That's oh all God. you have to say. Well, Instead I'm of being you, wait, right? wait, wait, wait. Dude, and he's doing all of this for 786 people, right? Like, if if I was making millions of dollars, maybe you could justify this amount of humiliating yourself in public. Maybe you could try to in your mind. But for 786 people, half of whom, who, if they're donating to you, they're just donating to see you say the slur in public or get yourself beat up. Like, half of those people in his chat, in their mind, their goal is to see this guy get hurt in public. Is to do their, their absolutely best they can to see this guy say a slur in the wrong place or, or make a bomb threat in the wrong place to get him shot by the police or to get him beat up by locals who don't like him. So not only is he probably not making that much money in the first place and living a miserable, self-humiliating existence, but he's also doing it for a bunch of people who want to see his downfall. I could not think of a worse possible existence than this person's existence and everybody who does the same type of IRL streaming as he does. Yeah. Wait, but I want to take English to you because you understand English, right? Nah, 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 nah. You know? Chotomate, nah. Chotomate, nah. Speak English to me. Don't fucking Japanese to us, man. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Die joke, poo. You see that? You see what happened right here? You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, one of the really, really, really minor bad guys in, like, a Yakuza video game. That, like, the Yakuza have to come by and, like, this guy's, like, making a public nuisance of himself. You gotta go straighten him out. It's, like, a five-minute mission. Like, this, the most, like, it's, like, literal filler content. That's what he reminds me of. Like the type of, ah, he's in the train, being a public nuisance again. You gotta, gotta like go throw him off a building or something, rough him up a bit to stop him from annoying everyone. That's exactly what he reminds me of. Fucking motherfuckers. Chill. 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 In English, we say chill. Shut the fuck up, please. In Japanese, we say disappear. <laughs> Why are you racist? You're he got, racist. He got roasted. You are racist. And I think, right? like, what racist. a racism. No, no, no. You're racist, For right? What? He said he was Why is he racist. accusing him of racism? It. You see, he said he was racist. Man. That, that, that did no racist. You're, you're, making, you're making anybody who's an English speaker just look terrible just by friction, just by you being in the same category as us. Relax. 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 Like, if I now go to Japan, if I meet that person on the train, they're going to be looking at me funny hoping I don't take out a speaker and start blasting music relax bro relax yo by the way are stop are antagonizing these random people I want to say are you got oh my arigato. god man these are the type of d d stop don't do don't talk dude I hope this guy gets his passport stolen man I I wish nothing but misfortune upon this person I am so sorry man I don't I'm not gonna be humanitarian today I hope he's like walking down the street someone pit pockets his his wallet his his passport and then like the, the person trips and he sees the passport like flying to the sky before like going through like a sewer pipe and like depthing getting eaten by an alligator in the sewers is completely gone i just i wish nothing but misfortune on this person man oh my god sometimes i'm so people annoyed by him me, but i'm not the same <laughs> yeah yeah we are not same we are not same but, but I, 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 I love you i love you thank you thank you because yeah. you're so nice 
but some people are not so nice. Uh, he wants to fight me. Is a yeah, yeah, no. Well, right? Bad, bad. Got a that tier one no subscription. Uh, he said he was racist. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Please yeah. understand. Uh, we'll that, cut that, him that is German. That is German. I will cut him off. Are you lying? Going up? Somebody, right. bad, bad people. Bad people. No. 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 <laughs> anyway. God, man. I... There's a reason why people hate streamers, and it's exactly for people like this, man. This person is making everybody racist towards streamers, and I appreciate it. I real, I really appreciate it, buddy. Zen the Chill, thank you so much for the tier one sub, saying switching my account to the base chat. Smart moves, Zen the Chill. Become a nice site chat sub. You know, we've got a bunch of gutter chat subbers, which, they, you know, they're okay. But the site chat subs, they're the top of our society top of our society call him a traitor i'm calling him somebody who's moving up on the world okay wishing misfortune on other people is against twitch tos that would if that is true then i should have been banned years ago oh my god i've wished misfortune on so many people i hope i hope donald trump uh, trips on a pebble i hope mike pence uh, scrapes his knee <laughs> I hope Judge Kavanaugh uh, uh, ties his shoes, but doesn't tie them tight enough, so they start to loosen up, and it's really annoying. So he like has to sit down and like at a rear, like a weird, uncomfortable angle while walking to work through the halls of the halls of the court. He has to go down and tie his shoes again, and he has to double knot it because he's nervous about them untying again, right? <laughs> 